Hello, today we are going to do a very interesting experiment. I've got two mini DV camcorders and both of them have got a problem that are not recording and not playing back properly. I make a mix up test, I put a tape that I know it's working and it's being recorded on different one. They are playing as stripes. I try to record on them and play back from them just in case there will be some head misalignment but they are not working. We are going to prove whether a mini DV head cleaning tape is going to resolve our issue. I managed to buy a brand new factory seal and it's going to be an interesting experiment. So first let's see how the problem looks like. We are going to do our test recording. I've got a tape. I'm going to put it in. You have to take a look for the push sign. And we are going to nicely load it. Just like that. I go into the camera mode. Remove the cap. And we are going to record a, like a 30 seconds and we are going to try to play it back as you can see everything is being done in a real time i'm collecting a different camera so definitely you can count that i'm going to make a showcase one day so we've got some material recorded we can go into the playback. That camera have got a beautiful touch screen. We are rewinding tape and I'm playing it back. And let's see what we've got. Looks like it is worse than before because back then there was playing some stripes. Looks like it go worse than before because on that camera we cannot see anything. Let's try the second one. Just so we've got some sort of a base point. That one is very interesting. We go like this. We put our battery, here we load our tape. We look for the push sign and we only push there. I very enjoy look of that camera. It is a pretty amazing. Let's remove the cap. Let's go into the camera, tape, not card, and we are going to try to record something. This is really feel beautiful. Just take a look how nice you can adjust it. I will definitely make a separate video just about that camera. And let's try to play it back. We go into the VCR mode. And let's try to play it. And let's see what we've got. So we've got a no go. We do not have picture. So let's see whether our cleaning tape is going to do any difference. I believe that camera have a little bit of a abrasive material because it is not something that you are going to regularly find. Let me let me show you something. 
this is something that you are going to be use on a VCR and it's got a that soft material that you soak with a cleaning solution and that one is totally different it looks like a tape for the LTO I expect the material it's going to be a little bit of abrasive and when the head is going to be passing it will clean itself let's see how are the how to use it we are going to play 10 seconds okay we cannot rewind it until it will go to the end so we go into the VCR mode and it is going to be a very interesting our cleaning tape we are pushing it in the proper spot this is most common fault because people are just breaking them okay we are in the VCR mode and I'm going to just play it What's interesting, this camera automatically detects a cleaning cycle and I've got no idea how to run it, how to confirm it. We've got like a question. Okay, now cleaning. Yeah, let's see whether it's going to stop by itself or are we should counting that eject the cassette okay it's done automatically I've got absolutely no idea I'm putting back the tape push it in a proper place and we are going to try to record something and go into the camera mode and we are recording I'm very interested are we going to get any success because that is going to be a very good purchase Okay, we go to the VCR, rewind. And the moment of truth, I press the play. Recording. I'm very interested. Are we going to get any success? Okay. That was a good one. Let's try to put that tape into the second camera because I'm interested what's going to happen. We know that beginning of this tape is being recorded correctly by that camera. Just as experiment I'm going to put it into the Sony and I'm going to try play it back. There should be a totally compatible let me go into the VCR mode just like that I'm going to rewind it and let's see what's going to happen because that tape is known to be good and it looks like we've got a uh, no success let me rewind that okay let's see does this camera is going to see a cleaning cycle the camera go the cassette go we are pushing it we do not have any cleaning cycle so i'm just going to hit the play we should do a 10 seconds but since we do not see absolutely any picture 
let's give it a 20. I believe you shouldn't do that too long because you can damage the head on the LTO drive. That's the rule. You do only cleaning when it report it need. But since here we've got absolutely no picture, let's give it a little bit longer. Let's slim remove the cleaning tape. And I'm really curious, are we going to get any success? Did I rewind that? I believe yes. We press play. So as you can see, it's playing back the tape that we recorded here. Let's try to record something on that camera. It's got that zoom in a weird way. If you put your hand like this, you cannot navigate it. So let me grab it like that. And let's record a little bit. So this is the camera that we already fixed via use of the tape. Here is that beautiful tape. And I'm pretty sure we are going to get a success. Okay, finish recording. We've got a 20 second. We go into the player. I'm rewind the tape. We hit play. And does it going to be working? So as you can see, we've got a great success. Both cameras are operational. I'm maybe I'm going to do a little more cleaning, give a one cycle more because here was a almost 30 second. There was a 10 second. They were both completely dead. With this, we've got a nice picture with a sound and we've got a success. So here is your answer. Yes, it does work and you can fix your camera. You do not need to throw it away or go into the service. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.